What is this I see before me? I look up to see Karma standing on the rooftop right above us in his disguise, holding a sword, a broad grin on his face. Madam, you might hurt yourself playing with that sword. You might want to put it down. What's this, sir? Do you feel threatened by me? You should. Karma jumps down from the building and raises his sword in front of him. His eyes are angry, his earlier jovial personality fallen away. Anyone that attacks a lady has to pay for the crime. And do the time. <laughs> Karma rushes forward, moving faster than I can see, even in his long dress. The glint of the sword causes the man to fall backwards, loosening his grip on me. I step back from the man's hold and watch as Karma points his sword at the man's neck. Now, I have a sword and you do not. Do you really want to test your luck, sir? Kisk, this isn't worth it. The man runs off, leaving me alone with Karma in the alleyway. What's this? You were a lot cockier just a few moments ago. I breathe out slowly as relief washes over me. <sighs> Princess! Waltz approaches from where the man had run. So, did you meet the coward fellow on your way here? I bumped into a man who looked as if he was running from death. Oh my, I feel oddly accomplished. Karma and Waltz's voices become faded and indistinct as my vision blurs. I'm suddenly light on my feet. All the adrenaline from earlier has dissipated into thin air. I feel... tired. Good luck. Princess! Oh no, princess! <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Before I can collapse, I feel arms pulling me back up. Rest easy, Princess Rosaria. I close my eyes and fall into blackness. Just like in Get Out. <laughs> when I wake up, Anise is setting a tray of food down on my bedside table. She... <coughs> Sorry, I inhaled weird. She does not notice as I rise slowly from bed. Floating in midair. Ooh, Anise, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Anise. Oh, Princess, you're up. We were worried about you. Lady Delora and Lady Parfait said you were just out because of shock, but still. How long have I been asleep? Just a few hours, Princess. Don't worry about chores for now. Lady Dolores says that if you're... With, what are you, oh, yes, feeling a better later, you can use Mr. Broom. I forgot about Mr. Broom. <laughs> Just thinking about using Mr. Broom gives me a headache. <gasps> Where are Karma and Waltz? Waltz is scouting the town, looking for the man that captured you. And Karma? Not that I care. I think he might be in his room, Princess. He's got patrol tonight, so... So, excuse me. <laughs> I, I ate a sandwich earlier, and I'm just... So he's <laughs> resting a little bit. Pardon me. If he has patrol tonight, that must mean he was resting this morning, too. <laughs> How did he know I needed help? Do you need anything, Princess? No. I'm going to visit Karma. <gasps> What? To thank him? However he knew, if Karma hadn't been there, things would not have ended so well. Y yes. That's sweet, Princess. Oh, Lady Dolora wants to talk to you about what happened when you're feeling up to it. Okay. <laughs> I wait until Anise leaves the room before I follow after her. <laughs> Just a weird thing to imagine, like the door closes and then like. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> well, why, why'd you do that? <laughs> we could have left together. <laughs> and we're here. It is only after I exit my room that I realize I do not know where Karma's room is. Anise must have assumed that I already knew with us being partners. <laughs> 
just real funny sometimes. She, she's just so oblivious that other people exist. <laughs> I would love to see somebody leave a room. Like, again, you leave a room. You're like, all right, I'll see you later. And then, like, you close the door. And then seconds later, they, like, open the door back up. And then they're like, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Like, okay. <laughs> you could ask, but I guess, like, bye. Sorry. All right. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I do not need Anissa's assistance for this. I can find Karma's room on my own. It takes me some time, but eventually I find a room with his name on the door in careful, flowery letters. It suits him. I simply open the door without thinking to knock, because I don't know how things work. Butts, butts, butts. Ah! Abs, 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 abs. Take it. I expected to find a comet lying in bed, but instead he is standing in front of a mirror changing his clothes. I'm crying. I've never seen a man before. <laughs> a princess. Oh, I do not think I've ever seen a shirtless man before. Just smiling now. Oh, indeed. <laughs> he turns to me and the realization that he is standing there just in his pants hits me hard in the stomach. <laughs> And maybe a little bit lower than that. <clears throat> My face feels incredibly uncomfortably warm. Why are you just standing there? Put on your clothes! And then I notice the large tattoo on his chest, amongst other things. <laughs> it is a rose ensnared by many vines. I stare at it for a few moments before Karma puts a hand there to conceal it. It's rude to, to, <coughs> it's rude to come into a lady's room unannounced, you know. Karma slips his usual dress on carefully over his head and then approaches me. I take a step back without realizing. Karma raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me mischievously. It is a familiar look, but it rattles me more more now than it ever has before. So, just I'm, I'm not understanding Karma's curse. I know that's part of the thing is to not yeah. understand it, but like he is in the body of a woman no he is disguising himself as a woman because if he presents himself as a man then like every woman immediately falls in love with him okay that's okay yeah. I, was, I was that's okay. what the disguise is got it i'm sorry yeah we can proceed go my princess you are as red as a tomato are you okay no you are <laughs> <laughs> oh she is blushing real hard <laughs> <clears throat> does this man always need to point out the obvious I'm fine. There's no need to shout, darling. <laughs> <clears throat> now, what did you come here for? To see me, the beautiful karma? Does everything always have to revolve around you? Well, you are breaking into my room. I'm barely able to stifle a sigh. Well? I cross my arms and frown at him. His smile makes it harder to get my next words out. I came here to thank you. Hmm. Do my ears deceive me? What did you say, princess? <sighs> princess? Thank you for saving me. I saw you fight back. That was a very admirable attempt. You saw me? Yes, as you were coming to the end of the alleyway. But I didn't manage to escape. It doesn't matter, Princess. You certainly made the effort. But I disagree. They digress. <laughs> I disagree with myself. I digress. You, you are quite welcome, Princess. It was my pleasure. I should leave. Wait, what? I turn to leave, but Karma grabs my hand and pulls me back. But Princess, don't you owe me something? <gasps> oh. <clears throat> so Karma was expecting something in return after all. I should have known. I think you owe me an apology. You did come into my room unannounced after all. <clears throat> what is he talking about? Don't you remember 30 seconds ago? <laughs> Since you broke into my room, I demand you help me with my makeup. 
Then I will forget your tra transgression. Uh, your makeup? Yes, darling. I thought you were resting because you were going on patrol tonight. Resting? Nonsense. I have much to do. My makeup earlier was so messy that I washed my face in order to reapply it. I cannot believe I'm going to agree to this. Fine. Ah, what a splendid day today is. Come, princess. Let's do this by a mirror. Karma pulls me over to the mirror where I can see both of our faces reflected. He has a surprising variety of makeup on the dresser beside him. I do not even care that much for my appearance. Why am I helping Karma with his makeup? Now, which feature on the face do you think is the most important one to highlight, princess? What? What are your eyes attracted to most on a person's face? When they're laughing? When they smile? Why is he asking for my opinion on something so trivial? Their left nostril. <laughs> If someone was smiling, the first feature I would look at on their face would be the lips, obviously, because they're smiling. You think? I feel like it'd be their eyes. Yeah, but you do you. Eyes. You, you do you. I'm just saying, I like, feel like this is like more of a personality thing. I agree, I agree. I don't think there's a yeah. wrong answer, but... Well, I mean, knowing karma, I would say probably, but... Yeah. But I feel like the eyes, like... Is he like... <laughs> like you could be like, uh -huh. like your eyes can't lie. You can't. This is a very good audio <laughs> representation. <laughs> Just imagine Brandon making very strange faces. Yeah. With his if, eyes were, closed. if you're crying, you could like, <laughs> like it doesn't. You, you know, yeah, eyes yeah. tell the truth. That's that's true. It's definitely not the cheeks. Yeah. It is either the eyes or the lips. I could agree with the lips as well. I could definitely. Yeah, but I also agree with the eyes. Yeah, let's do eyes. You always look at a person's eyes first, so the eyes. Eyes are the mirrors to the soul, as they say. Does that mean you always look into my eyes, princess? The minute he says that I look into his eyes, Karma flutters his eyelashes at me and I look back down and grumble. What was that, a trick? Made you look. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? Think? <laughs> My eyes, do they draw you in? I have never looked at Karma's eyes closely, but now that he keeps talking about them, I cannot help but look closer. His eyes are a pretty color. <clears throat> you don't have to answer that, princess. I'm just kidding. Uh, of course. Your eyes, on the other hand, are beautiful. You and Rumpel really are the same person. You both spout nonsensical compliments. Nonsensical? Oh, princess, I am so offended. I mean what I say, I'm like that fool. Anyway, I'll let you choose the order of things. Fine. Just don't make me look like a clown, princess. I know how much you like how much you to like. I know how much you to you like to tease me, but I need to get out of here quickly today. If you need to leave quickly, shouldn't you do your makeup yourself? And miss the opportunity to have you help me? Nonsense. If I can, I'll have you help me with my hair and some other some other time. That way, the way you do yours is beautiful. I am Robot Karma. Bye. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I always put effort into my hair, as Mother always emphasized the importance of looking like a princess. But I have never received a compliment on my hairstyle before. Karma gives me his makeup supplies and I start layering the color on his face. When we are this close, I cannot help but carefully inspect every one of his features. I do not think I even did something like this with Mother.